Good day everyone. We discussed about latches in our last video. We will discuss about PFS, GAM, SGAM pages and allocation contention on this video. Let's get started. What is a PFS page? PFS page refers to page free space. PFS page maintains information on how much free space on each page is available. A PFS page occurs once in 8,088 pages. SQL Server will attempt to place a PFS page on the first page of every PFS interval. The only time a PFS page is not the first page in its interval is in the first interval for a data file. File header page is the first and the PFS page follows next. Page ID starts from zero. So the first PFS page is at page ID one. If page number divided by 8088 is a round value, then the page is a PFS page. For example, let's consider we have a uh, page ID in hand. And if we want to understand if it is a PFS page, so what we do is like we divide that page number by 8088 and if it is a round value without any decimal values then it is considered as a PFS page while we create an object SQL server uses the information in the PFS page to decide which page to be used for this particular object global allocation map page GAM pages in the GAM pages which extends are allocated and which are not allocated information is basically maintained GAM page will be the second page in the data file. Next GAM page is placed at 511230 page, that is file lakh 11,238th page after first GAM page or the GAM interval. If the page number minus one divided by file lakh 11,230 is a round value, then the page is a GAM page. Shared global allocation map page, SGAM page. Let's discuss on this. In the SGAM pages, which extent are used as mixed extent information is maintained. When a new object is created, the allocation happens from the mixed extent as it is understood that not all object will use 64 KB. That is eight pages multiplied by eight KB. In that case, instead of wasting some space for smaller objects within allocated 64 KB, mixed extends are used instead. SGAM page will be the third page. Next SGAM page is placed at 511230 or 5,11,230th page after first SGAM page. If page number minus two divided by 5,11,230 230 is a round value, then the page is considered as SGAM page. On a SQL database server, you may notice severe blocking when the server is experiencing a heavy load. Dynamic management views, sys.dm underscore exec underscore request or sys.dm underscore overs underscore waiting task indicates that these requests or tasks these requests or tasks are waiting for TMDB resource. Additionally, the wait type is page latch underscore whatever. Please don't confuse this with page IO latch. It is page latch underscore SH, EX or UP, whatever it is. And the wait resource points to the pages in the TMDB. These pages might be of the format database ID colon, file ID colon, page number so if you are seeing uh, two colon one colon one then that means like database id 2 refers to your uh, tmdb and uh, the next one refers to your file id and the next one uh, basically refers to your pfs page so two colon one colon two is your uh, gam page and two colon one colon colon three would be your uh, sgam page when the TMDB database is heavily used, SQL Server may experience contention when it tries to allocate pages. Depending on the degree of contention, this may cause queries and requests that involve TMDB to be briefly unresponsive. During object creation, two pages must be allocated from a mixed extent and assigned to the new object. 
one page is for the index allocation map that is IAM and the second is for the first page for the object SQL server tracks mixer extents by using the shared global allocation map that is your SGAM page each SGAM page tracks about 4 GB of data to allocate a page from the mixed extents, SQL Server must scan the page free space page to determine which mixed page is free to be allocated. The PFS page keeps track of free space available on every page and each PFS page tracks about 8,000 pages. Appropriate synchronization is maintained to make changes to the PFS and SGAM pages and that can stall all other modifiers for short periods. When SQL Server searches for a mixed page to allocate, it always starts the scan on the same file and SGAM page. This causes intense contention on the SGAM page when several mixed page allocations are underway. This can really, really cause problems. So let's discuss what we can do to reduce the uh, allocation contention. So as for a SQL Server 2014 and below, we can follow the follow these below recommendations that I'm going to discuss. Increase the number of data files in TEMDB to maximize disk bandwidth and reduce contention in the allocation structure. As a rule, if the number of logical processors is less than or equal to eight, use the same number of data files as logical processors. If the number of logical processors is greater than eight, use eight data files. If contention continues, increase the number of data files by multiples of four up to the number of logical processes until the contention is reduced to acceptable levels. Alternatively, make changes to the workload or code. For example, convert uh, some of your uh, um, workloads that are using uh, temporary tables to table variables, but be aware of estimate issues as far as the table, values, uh, table variables are concerned. Maybe we can try using in-memory OLTP uh, temporary tables instead of normal temporary tables on versions where Hackathon or in-memory OLTP is available. This specific recommendation can definitely reduce PFS contention. Again, it can reduce PFS contention. I would do this only if there is PFS contention. That's me though. Adding more files on TEMDB can have major performance impact on queries where sorts are spilling to TEMDB. So that's something that we need to uh, take into account before adding uh, uh, many data files to TEMDB. Now let's discuss how increasing the number of TEMDB data files is going to reduce the contention. If you have one data file for the TEMDB, you only have one GAM page and one SGAM page for each 4 GB of space. Increasing the number of data files that have the same sizes for TEMDB effectively creates one or more GAM and SGAM pages for each data file. The allocation algorithm for GAM allocates one extent at a time, that is eight contiguous pages from the number of files in a round robin fashion while, while honoring the proportional fill algorithm. Therefore, if you have 10 equally sized files, the first allocation is from file one, the second from the file two, and the third would be from the file three and so on. The resource contention of the PFS page is reduced because eight pages at a time are marked as full because GAM is allocating the pages. Another thing that we can do is like uh, make sure all the data files that is created on the TEMDB is sized equally. That is something very, very critical. Uh, you cannot have uh, different size for uh, different uh, uh, TEMDB files. It all should be uh, uh, sized equally. In case of SGAM contention, add trace flag triple one eight. That is one, 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 eight. Under this trace flag, SQL Server allocates full extents to each database object, thereby eliminating the contention on the SGAM pages. If trace flag 1118 is turned on, almost all new allocations are made from a GAM page that allocates eight pages at a time to an object, as opposed to a single page from an extent for the first eight pages of an object without the trace flag. 
there are disadvantages for this. So let's discuss on that. The disadvantage of using trace flag 1118 is that you may see increase in database size if the following conditions are true. New objects are created in a new, new in, a, in a user database. Each of the new objects occupies less than 64 KB of storage. If these conditions are true, you may allocate 64 KB, that is 80 pages into 8 KB, which is 64 KB, for an object that only requires 8 KB of space if it is very, very small, thus wasting close to 56 KB of storage. However, if the new object uses more than 64 KB in its lifetime, there is no disadvantage to this particular trace flag. Therefore, in a worst case scenario, SQL Server may allocate seven additional pages during the first allocation only for the new object that never grow beyond one page. So, 1118 trace flag is going to be a problem for smaller objects that will be created on the database. General recommendation will be to have TMDB data and log file on its own drive isolated from other user databases and also from other system databases and also utilizing faster disks are really really recommended. Now let's discuss on uh, SQL Server 2016 and above. Let's say like uh, if we have uh, contention on uh, uh, SQL Server with version 2016 and above, uh, uh, we will basically, we can follow these uh, methodologies to kind of solve it. The first one would be to uh, apply the recent service pack and see you. Yep. And uh, uh, adding more uh, data files as discussed earlier for the previous version is also something that we can definitely uh, uh, practice in 2016. Alternatively, we can make changes to the workload or code by converting, um, uh, for example, if you have a workload that basically utilizes a lot of temporary table, then these can be converted into a table variable or you can use uh, in-memory OLTP temporary table. But the thing is like we should be aware of the table variable estimate issue. That is, some, that is something that needs to be taken care. General recommendation, uh, recommendation will be to uh, have uh, TEMDB data and log file again on, um, uh, on own drives isolated from other user databases and also utilizing faucet disks are recommended. So core as far as core thing that as far as SQL 2016 and above is concerned, it is, it is always good if we are on the uh, latest uh, service pack and cumulative update because there are so many recommendations that are uh, added in 2016 and above and also like uh, we no longer need 1117 and 1118 trace flag for uh, SQL 2016 and above, it all comes automatically. So in case there are any uh, allocation contention even after that, then what I, what I understand is like applying the recent service back and see you and then working out on your workload can really, really help you. That's it for this video. We will speak uh, more about uh, checking PFS, GAM, and SGAM pages using DBCC page command on our next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.